Are you looking for action figures? Then head over to The Chosen Prime. The link is in the description. Just follow that. And man, they got everything your heart desires. Transformers, 5-2 toys, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever you want. Just go over and follow that link, man. You can order everything you want. Just order. Just go over there and order. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thanks for coming back as always. I appreciate it. Hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel. As always, I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another Versus thing. Yeah. So I did a review over this guy. This is Robot Paradise. This is Acoustic Wave, also known as Fans Toys, but Sound Wave. And I'm going to do a Versus versus the MP13. This is Takara Tomy Sound Wave. This is a masterpiece. So I thought I'd do a little comparison, you know, a verse kind of thing. Now, on my review for this guy, I made a big mistake. I uh, was transforming the uh, Frenzy Rumble. I did not extend the uh, waist or the abdomen area, so he looked kind of funky. And that's why I said he looked kind of weird, because it's my fault. I just didn't transform him right. I wasn't paying attention. I just I was so worried about transforming this guy, I just didn't worry about the little guy. So I'm going to show you the right way uh, whenever I, I go to the taste and everything. But I apologize for that. Sorry. But uh, yeah, hope you like the review. And I'm going to do this, like I said, versus. I'm going to look over their alt modes. I'm going to look over the accessories, their bot modes, and just compare them a little bit. And, just have a little fun thing. So let's just get right to it. That's what you came for. Yeah. All right. First things first, we're going to compare what they come with. And that's all their stuff. This is the Acoustic Wave, and this is the MP Sound Wave, MP13. So really can't compare the... Um, so he comes with Frenzy Rumble, one on the red one. And then MP comes with Laser Beak, which I wish he would have came Laser Beak. But uh, we'll get those, I think, end of the month or something like that. they got to come in a four-pack or something with them. So I'm going to compare them with... This is the Year of the Goat. I think it's the year of the gold or something like that. The one, the clear uh, sound wave, MP sound wave. Um, I don't have the weapons. I, I put them up or something. So I'm just going to do a little comparison with him and everything because it really can't compare to the laser beak. So with him, you know, like I said, um, he comes with all the parts that make him like a toy version, a toy, you know, instead of tune. So you got all this stuff for him like there, all this right here and this and this. And he comes with a different head sculpt too as well. So you got the yellow eyes as well. Pretty cool. And then he comes with uh with Rumble Frenzy, he comes with his pile drivers. They're nicely painted and they do extend. You got a little action right there. You just collapse them right that. That's pretty cool. And he comes with uh his two guns, nicely done. Nice uh silver paint and got some nice chrome on there. Really good. And he also comes with two head skulls, different head skulls, really nice. Kind of the err mean get off my yard. Love that cherry red and the gray for the paint. And he also comes with, this is the one he comes with. I have the smiley face on right now, but he comes with a, just a blank stare, kind of a deer in the headlight thing. So that's pretty cool. So that is all he comes with. He comes with the, the cube. You know, you can put out the, you know, like he's uh, making Energon and you just, um, I think it's whichever one of these is, like that. And you just put it on the chest and that's pretty cool. And he has a tape carrier thing too as well a cassette case for that now with the mp like i said he comes with laser beak i'll show him off and i'm just going to show him off with that one he does come with a plate like this like he does you can switch them out he comes with the energon q2 as well you can I think this is just take it off like that do the same thing and he comes with a pink cassette holder and he comes with a megatron as well Nicely painted. Love that Decepticon symbol. So that's cool. You know, that's when everybody were getting Megatrons everywhere. Oprah was giving out Megatrons. So there you go. So I'd kind of give it to the edge to them because you get a lot of extra stuff. You get the pile drivers. Now with the uh, pile drivers, they did uh, come with pile drivers for him too as well. Um, but they did, he didn't come with Soundwave. So, but you know, with all the extra stuff, you get to make him a toy version or a tune version. That's pretty cool. I like that. So, you know, it's pretty cool. And you get a Megatron gun with them. So I kind of give it to a little edge to them, but, you know, it's still cool to get that. So that's what they both come with. Real quick, I'm just going to compare the tapes. Won't take that long. So there you go. This is the uh, Fans Toys or Robot Paradise, and this is the uh, MP1. So you can tell a little difference. About the same size. Yeah, they're about the same size. And then there's Laser Beak. So, 
both got paint, really good. So, you know, pretty cool. You know, both of them. Lock them. So there you go. There's the tapes. All right. So I just transformed the tapes, you know, back from transformation. Uh, just threw laser break in there. But like I said, I'm going to compare these two. Now, like I said, I did transform him wrong. I had him like this the whole time. So he just had high wasting, you know, what high wasted pants. I forgot to pull that out right there. And that makes it a whole lot better. So now he has articulation there. He got a swivel and he can go there. So he has an abdomen there. So I'm sorry that I missed that, that part. I don't, I wasn't even paying attention. Apologize. So there he is. He's about a little taller than the uh, MP1. Not bad. This one's got more paint and it's got, you know, feels better too, as well as got die cast. This one has no die cast at all. Uh, it does got some nice orange paint right here. And then some red paint right there and right there. Now, like I said, this is a different one than what it comes with uh, Soundwave. But um, I just want to do a little comparison. I don't know what I did with my other tapes. I, I've been packing, so I'll put them up. Now, this one, tons, tons of uh, sculpt work. Gold paint. You got red paint. You got yellow, blue. Like I said, almost everything on him is die cast. And we'll take a look at the backs. And there you go. So, definitely have to give it to this one as far as tapes and everything. So, there you go. All right, real quick, I'm going to go over articulation for both these little guys. So, swivel for the head, up for the transformation, and nothing down and no attitude. All right, so he's got these weird shoulders. They go up to there. Actually, more if you want to, just because of transformation. All the way around, you do have a elbow bend, more than 90 degrees. Um... No uh, bicep swivel, but got this kind of weird thing just because of the way the angle is. No waist swivel. Like I said, he does a, has an abdomen, abdomen now. Golly. Uh, Van Dam all day, every day. Kick up, kick back. Thigh swivel, more than 90 degrees for the knee bend. And then toe tilt up, down. I mean, down, up. And then you got a rocker too, a little one. And that's him. And then with the... MP1, you can go uh, side to side, look up like that one, all the way up to there. You can smell his armpit all the way around. Got a little wiggle waggle. Uh, 90 degrees for that. Uh, no bicep swivel. Does have in and out with the hand. Uh, he can go all the way Van Dam all day, every day. Kick up, which is kind of tight. And back, swivel, knee bend, more than 90 degrees. Tilt tilt up. Not much down and a little rocker. So there you go. That is articulation and sculpt work of the tapes. Hold on. There you go. And there they are both in tape deck mode. This is the MP1 and this is the uh, Robot Paradise one. You can tell this one is a little darker blue up here. A little lighter blue on this one. You got nice gold paint for this. You got nice metallic or a chrome gold for there you got the nice chrome right here for the play and rewind all that stuff this is a uh, die cast right there painted silver you got the right and left this is painted white nicely done and also this is painted too this is painted blue this is painted that white i think this is painted. i don't think that's painted but both of them look really good like that all right so we're going to turn it around then you got the volume button and this one does go up and down this one does not but you do got some extra detail in there for that. So that's pretty cool. And then the backs, eh, big old gap right here. Now the, I do have the weapon stored in here, like the batteries in the G1. It does not store it like that, it's just on both sides. But you can tell they're both of the arms are out there. So, but I think this one cleans up a little better in the back. Then you got the sides, the volume button goes up for this one and this one. Got some nice details. You got the QC 34 pass. That's awesome. And then the bottom. And yeah, a little gap itch, but I think this one cleans up a little better. But I think they both look good. Um, I think I'm going to leave this one in uh, alt mode. And I'm going to leave this one. I'm going to transform and leave him in bot mode. But I think they both look really good. You know, they're simple tape decks, you know. Um, he is a little wider than him you can tell let's see if i can do this so 
and you can tell like that. So he's a little longer and about, about this, he's a little longer this way or wider this way. So that's about, they're about the same size. So there you go. That's the tape deck mode. Awesome. All right, folks, back from transformation and I have to say his transformation is a lot easier than this one. It's more complex. I like both of them. I like transforming him. He's fun and he's, you know, he's easy and simple, but he's fun too as well. So transformation, both are, you know, both enjoyable. So this is the way their weapons are. You got the shoulder mount. Like I said, this one, this one will not come off. This one will. And then they both hold their guns just like, you know, the MP style. Of course, he is MP uh, Soundwave. And then take this one off of him. So this one's a little bigger, a little longer. Both have chrome for the tips. And you got the red paint. This is more of a darker red than that red right there. And that's a darker blue as well. And he's got paint up there. But there you go. That's the weapons. So we'll take a look at these guys. Look pretty good. Now he's got mostly silver paint, like on the face, his arms and stuff. And he does have this is more of the toy deco. He's got the shoulder pads. Now, you, like I said, you, you know, if you watch my review, you can make him have more toy deco as well. But you got the gold paint. You got the nice chrome right here, and then you got the uh, silver paint, red, and then you got the white paint and red, and you got the chrome and the right there. And that's die cast right there. And you got the silver legs or silver thighs, and you got the white thighs right here. And then silver paint, yellow paint, white paint, yellow paint. That's pretty good. And then the feet. Now he does have die cast in the feet, and they're nicely painted silver. Now he's got die cast feet, legs, and his elbows, the thighs. He's got tons of die cast, so he has a better weight to him, a better feel. Than the uh, MP. He's really light. And then we'll take a look at the side profiles. Now he is taller than the MP a little bit. And the sides there. He's got bigger feet than this guy. And you got the backs. Now I do like the uh, silver paint right here to bring out some of the stuff right there. You know, the tubes and everything. That's pretty cool. Now, you can store the weapons in here, and I you know, showed you you couldn't store them in his uh, cassette thing, or his little battery pack. But there you go. That's the back. QC passed. Very nice. So there you go. So we're going to go over articulation right now. All right, we'll go over the MP first. And he's got a nice head sculpt. I like that. I love the silver paint. Nice cherry red for the eyes. Now this will uh, move up and down, side to side. It won't come off. He can look down quite a bit, up quite a bit as well, side to side. Very nice. Nice head sculpt. Can't open up his chest. Looks again the gold. Nice Decepticon snipper. Snicker. I said snipper. Uh, nice uh, silver paint, red paint, some black paint right there. Very nice. So you can go up to there, and you got this weird thing too if you want to, but that just looks weird. All the way around, he does have a nice elbow bend. That is good. Bicep swivel, and with the hands, swivel, and then the thumb, you cannot move. He does have a booger picker, and it is due uh, two points of articulation, and then the other three fingers are on one pin, and they bend like that. So very nice. All right. Does have a waist swivel, quite a bit. No ab crunch. Now he does have some weird legs. So he can do the Van Dam all day, every day. And then he kicks up, which, you know, this one, this doesn't move or anything. These move, but the flaps don't move up. So you can go kick up to there. Nice ratchets. Uh, not much back at all. You do got a thigh swivel. That's good. You got a knee bend for 90 degrees. And you got silver paint like that, yellow paint once again. You do got a toe tilt down. Uh, a little bit up, and a nice rocker. You can get a good rocker on there. And you got these weird things on there, but that's kind of for the toy version. And once again, we'll look at the back. I do like that silver paint back there. Looks pretty good. Brings out the stuff. And there you go. So there, there. That is 
MP13 sound wave. That is his articulation. All right, we're gonna go over acoustic wave, his articulation real quick. So I've already done it, we'll go over it real quick with him. All right, nice head sculpt. Love that white paint right there, the beautiful cherry red. I love the cherry red on this as well. Now this will go up and down and it will swivel as well. Got that fan soy squeak and this will come off. You can take that off. All right, you can look down a little bit, not much, up quite a bit. I like that nice uh, sculpt work there for the neck. You do got a swivel. It is tight and no attitude or anything. You can pop that open. Like I said, I think you can hold two cassettes. All right, so nice ratcheted up to there. Looks good. Nice ratchet around. That is awesome. Like I said, you can unpeg this right here and you can get a butterfly if you want to, but it is a pain and it's really tight. I'm, man, I hope that does not break for the future. It's, it's a really hard pull. When, it, when you're pulling it out, it's really tight in there. So just be careful with that. Okay, so nice elbow bend. Really good. Does have a bicep swivel. Got the fan toy squeak. Swivel of the hand, a little wiggle waggle. Just like that. All the fingers are independently moving. So the thumb can move up and down. It's got a nice little range right there. This has three points of articulation for each finger. So very nice. I like the hands are good. Okay. Move this out a little bit. And it does have a waist swivel. And like I said, you can untab this right here. And you get a bigger waist swivel. But you just have to untab that. So just be aware of that. Like that. Now he does have an ab crunch. A little one. Not a huge one, but it's there a little bit. So that's very nice. All right. You can flip these up right here. Flip these up right here. And you can and squeak the Van Dam all day, every day. Golly. Kick up a little nice ratchet right there. And kick back about right there. That's pretty good. Thigh swivel. It's a squeaky as well. Nice knee bend. More than 90 degrees. And then toe tilt down. Nothing up. And a rocker like that. So that's pretty good. And then, man, this thing just looks clean. Man, the back looks really good. I like that. Yeah, I'm definitely going to leave this one in robot mode. So there you go. That is Fans Toy Soundwave or Robot Paradise Acoustic Wave. And there he is next to MP Megatron, Shockwave, and Sideswipe. Man, Sideswipe is small. Golly. So which one do you think... Uh, you know, kind of scales well with this. The Fans Toys or the MP1? I know he's a little shorter than Megatron, but I don't know how big he is. I thought he was around a little taller than Shockwave, but I don't know. But there you go. That is some scale for you. And Crappy Gunners, Crappy Toilet Paper, some Lysol, Care Bears, and Squeaks for more scale. All right, folks, that concludes my verses with MP13 Soundwave, and we got uh, Robot Paradise Acoustic Wave. Had to give it to this guy. I mean, he is really freaking awesome. The, you know, you can make him into the toy version or tune version. You know, the paint on this thing is spectacular. The articulation, just the feel and the build of him, and just, you know, the you know he just feels good. I mean, my God, he looks good, too, as well. Now, this guy... For a long time, and this guy was, I think came out in 2013. 
I mean, it took that long to make something better in him because this was, you know, my favorite. He's one of my favorite MPs of all time. And, you know, he was one of the best sound waves that were out, you know, that were available. So, you know, they've reissued him several times. I mean, they made a sound blaster out of him. I'm sure they'll make a sound blaster out of him as well. But, man, you know, he's been good for a long time. Still really like him. You know, he's still going to be in my collection. Um, I'm going to probably transform him into uh, alt mode. He'll be the, you know, tape deck, and he'll be my bot mode. Uh, you know, the tape is really awesome, too. Once you transform him right, I apologize for not transforming him correctly the first time, but he's really good. He's got a nice feel to him, too. He's got a lot of die cast and everything. So you got the, you know, swappable heads for him. I mean, come on now. Who does that? And then I know I didn't have the right one for him, but, you know, that's the uh, uh, frenzy rumble that goes with sound wave and everything. So, yeah, overall, I mean, it's a landslide. You know, this just, it's so much better than this guy. But I still like this guy. Anyways, hope you like that. I uh, had a great time doing it. It's fun. Uh, once again, I apologize for not transforming the uh, frenzy rumble thing, uh, you know, the correct way the first time. But it happens, you know, sorry about that. So hit me up some likes, shares, prayers, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. It really helps out the channel. Hit me up in the comments. Tell me which one do you like. Do you still like the MP13 or are you feeling this guy? I hope you have a chance to get them. I think he's sold out, like I said, everywhere. I know Chosen Prime sold out, but I, hope, I think they said if they get some more, they'll definitely, you know, you know, resell them. So hope you all get a chance to get that guy. So I guess I'll see you on the next Versus kind of thing. And as always, be good to yourself. Hell Transformers and good night, folks.